Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Laravel e-commerce marketplace Stripe Payment Gateway. Now this particular plugin allows the customers to make the payment within the store for their orders using the Stripe Payment Gateway and they can use their cards to make the payment there. With the help of this payment method, the customer's payment is automatically split between the sellers involved and the store admin. Kindly note that you will have to check whether this payment method or the payment gateway is available in your country or not by navigating to stripe.com and also this particular plugin is an add-on to the Laravel Multimeter Marketplace module. So to make use of the Laravel Marketplace Stripe payment uh, gateway, you must have first purchase and install the marketplace module as well so basically this particular plugin allows the admin to enable or disable the module functionality from the configuration settings automatically it automatically splits the customers payment between the sellers and the admin it accepts all the cards that the stripe supports it allows sellers to register themselves using laravel stripe connect buyers can uh, save stripe card for future payments while paying it is PCI compliant and 3d secure as well so in today's video tutorial what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin that's the Laravel e-commerce marketplace stripe payment gateway and the customers end and I'll be showing you how the customers can place the orders using the stripe payment gateway and I'll also be showing you how the sellers can connect their stripe account and the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin as well so right now you can see that i'm at the marketplace uh, web store right now and i've already logged into my customer account here so what i'll be doing is i'll be going to one of the categories and i'll be adding one product into the cart now i can add multiple seller products as well and as i've already told you with the help of this payment method the customer's payment is automatically split between the sellers involved and the store admin so the sellers get their share and the admin gets his own commission there using this particular plugin itself so for today's example i'll be just adding one simple product into the cart and i'll be making a checkout thereafter to show you how the customers can place the order using the stripe payment gateway there so i'll just tap here on the add to cart button to add this particular t-shirt product into the cart and after that i'll be tapping here on the checkout button will be redirected to the checkout and here we need to enter the details like our address and other details so I'll just fill them up like Peter Doe, Peter 32 Street Lane, I'll enter the telephone number then we'll be selecting the shipping method so I'll be selecting free shipping and here under the select payment method now you'll be able to see the stripe payments or the stripe payment uh, method that can be chosen by the customers to place the order there so the grand total is $200 as you can see here uh, the subtotal is 200 so as a customer I can tap here on the stripe I can select it up I'll scroll down here's the t-shirt that I'm going to purchase one quantity for $200 uh, free shipping has been selected and the payment method selected is stripe thereafter we need to tap here on the place order button and we'll be redirected to the stripe uh, gateway here as you can see and here we need to enter the details of the card that uh, you're going to use so as to make the payment for your order so let me enter the test card details here i'll be entering the expiry date of the card the cvc number we can also uh, pay with a saved card if we have already saved the card or we can tap here on the pay now button to pay the pay, make the payment so if i tap here on the pay now button will be uh, asked do you want to save the card for future payment we can also tap here on the ok button and the payment would be made and the card would be saved so the next time that we come back to this particular section here uh, we'll be able to see our saved card and we can make use of the saved card so as to make the payment for future purchases as well so that will just take a few seconds there to process the payment and you can see that the order has been placed now if I go to my order section and here if I go to the order number 6 that's for $200 it's in the processing status and here's the t-shirt uh, that we had ordered ordered one invoiced one and here if I see the payment method that was selected by the customer or the 
more of the payment was Stripe Payment Gateway there. That's the Stripe using the card. The customer had placed the order there. So this was the workflow on the customers and how the customers can place the order using the Stripe Payment and there. Now let me show you how a particular seller can connect uh, their Stripe account. For that, what I'll do is I'll log out of the customer account there. So right now I don't have any seller account. So what I'll do is I'll just create a new one. So I'll just tap here on the sell option in the top header. And uh, then I'll be tapping here on the open shop now. And we are on the registration for the new user where we can become a seller. So I'll enter the details here, Peter Do, Peter at webpool.com. I'll set the password. I'll confirm the password. I'll select yes, I want to become a seller. I'll set it as Pete's shop. The shop URL is available and I'll sign out. So Peter at webcool.com is the username and the password has been set for this uh, particular new seller. So it will just take a few seconds there and uh, the account would be created as you can see. Now we can log in. So I'll just go ahead with Peter and I'll sign into my account there. I'm sorry for that wrong window there. So after I've logged in, uh, here you can see that uh, on the left hand side, uh, we have the Stripe Connect option. So if I tap on the Stripe Connect option, you can see that we have the option to connect to Stripe. Now after you have tapped here on the Connect Stripe, you will be redirected, redirected to the Stripe uh, uh, gateway there, wherein you have to log in to your account there. So this would be something like this, wherein you have to sign into your account, and you would, uh, and the Stripe would like to connect to your, to your Stripe account there. So you have to answer a few questions, and then you have to continue further after you have uh, logged in and answered the questions there. Then you'll be redirected back to your account, as you can see here. And here you can see under the Stripe Connect, initially you were having uh, what we say as the Connect Stripe option. But after you have redirected back from this stripe after you have logged into this stripe uh, account there you'll be redirected back and then you'll be able to see revoke your stripe account access and thus you'll be able to provide uh, the or you'll be able to connect your stripe account uh, there within your account panel itself now let me show you the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin for that uh, we'll be going to the admin backend panel and we'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the email password and tapping on the sign in button. After the successful installation of this particular plugin, what you need to do is you need to navigate to uh, configure. Here you have to go to uh, sales. Under sales, you have to go to payment methods. Under payment methods, here you have different payment methods. So here you are having the Stripe payment method as you can see. So here what you need to do is you need to set up the title that is visible to the customers at the checkout time. You can also give the description of the uh, payment method and the description would be visible under the payment method title itself at the checkout time. Then you can choose the debug mode as sandbox uh, or the testing mode or the production or the live environment as per your own requirement. Then you can set up who will pay the application fee. Uh, basically, here you can choose between uh, the uh, seller or the customer as per the requirement there. Uh, then if, uh, if this particular plugin is being used in the production mode, then you have to enter the uh, production mode API key and the API publishable key to know more about how to get the API keys you can check the user guide that I have attached within the description of this particular video itself and from there you can check how to get the API key and the API publishable key required for the configuration then you have to enter the client ID API test key and the API test publishable key because right now we are using the test uh, environment so we have to enter the test key and the test publishable key and uh, we have also to enter the client ID uh, that is required for the uh, Stripe Connect option at the seller's end there. And after you have configured these options here, you just need to tap here on the save button to save the initial configuration settings uh, for this particular 
plugin itself. So yes, that was much about the particular plugin. That's uh, the uh, Laravel e-commerce marketplace Stripe payment gateway. And I hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of the same of how the customers would be able to place the orders using the Stripe payment gateway, how the sellers can connect their Stripe account and the initial configuration settings for the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvs.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.